Hello, this is Eric at Prince Short Ford, and we're taking a look at the 2021 Ford Explorer in an XLT trim and powered by a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, providing you with excellent power and fuel efficiency with four wheel drive capabilities, so you're going to be able to get around pretty well. Uh, but let's take a look inside. First, looking at the back, we have a nice power lift gate that opens up and out of the way for you, revealing your uh, cargo area slash third row seating area because you do have seating for seven in total in this vehicle with their own cup holders and cubbies in the back too. You get a 12 volt power outlet here and uh, some more storage underneath here as well. So you can fold all the seats flat to have a ton of cargo room and this closes again with another simple press of a button. Then looking into the second row seat where you have comfortable seating for three with fold out armrests and two cup holders in the middle. So it's having a rear climate controls here in the middle with a, a USB and USB-C and 12 volt power outlet there. Then looking at the front, this vehicle does have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, as well as a fully power adjustable driver's seat. Now sitting in the vehicle with it running and looking at the steering wheel on the right hand side, you have your controls for your center info screen here, where you can look at your trip information, your tire pressures, radio station, fuel economy, you can also exit out and uh, go into some of your other screens as well as settings. Moving on to the left where you have your cruise controls. Uh, and then you have your hands-free phone and radio controls along the bottom. You also have your lane keeping system on the end of your signal stock. But then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is radio series and Bluetooth capable. So you have some options there for whatever you want to listen to. You have your Bluetooth phone controls, whatever apps you may have installed and settings for your screen and some other features around your vehicle. But then shifting into reverse, you do also have a backup camera, so you're going to be able to see where you're going and hopefully avoid hitting anything with dynamic hitch view, so you can have an easier time hooking up a small trailer or something of the sort. Moving down from your screen, you have a little cubby area here. Then you have your media controls as well as your hazards, and then your climate controls here with dual zone front climate and heated front seats, so you can stay cozy in the colder months. Uh, and then you have this compartment down here with a USB, USB-C, and 12 volt power outlet, so you can plug something in from there. Then you have your main shifter on a dial, very convenient. You have your parking brake and brake assist. You have a slot for your phone, two cup holders, and your drive mode selector here for, uh, you have normal, eco, sport, tow haul, and then on the opposite end, you have slippery, trail, and deep snow sand, so you can customize your driving experience a bit there. Then you also have your auto start stop shut off, your traction control shut off, and your hill descent assist. Then moving on, you have your center compartment slash armrest with a little removable tray and another 12 volt inside as well as plenty of room, so you can plug something in from there. But that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.